And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway and starting in this one Zach Eflin. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day when he's right. He's really able to keep hitters guessing and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot the same tunnel and that can make life very difficult for these opponents. Okay all set to go. Now it's the DH for the Angels. Anthony Rendon. The wind and the pitch. That one catches the zone and that's how this game gets started. And a pitch. That oh. one missed. Swing and a high fly ball to left. The Rosarena moving under it. Calls it in, and there's one away. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored. And you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you could linger into two consecutive games, which no one wants to be a part of. And he deals. And that one fouled off. One out, base is empty. Oh, and that just that. misses. Here's a batter who, for whatever reasons, plays better on the road, and that should help him here today. Not this even close there. The count now two and two. And the pitch. The punch out there. Now two away. Two outs, space is empty. Now, Taylor Ward. And there's the strike. And that one is lifted in the air. A Rosarena settles underneath it. He's got it. And that is out number three. We'll go to the bottom of the first, 0-0. Zero, zero. Back now in Tampa Bay, and on the hill, the lefty, Patrick Sandoval. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get we one or two no, over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command Yo, all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And one pitch into the inning. It's a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Ramirez at the dish. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately. Hey. Hitting better than 350 All this month. Count. Man at second. 
That one is absolutely belted. He one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Run scores easily, and it's one nothing. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Now it's Randy or Rosarena. Ball You're one, right. no Four. strikes. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. And the pitch. Got him swinging. And that's the first out. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to not sit in between. Here. Just the not able to put the bat on the ball. Not, not. Isaac oh, Brady's right now. Right and that oh, one just that. misses. A ball and no strikes. Belton fires. Hit in the air, right field. And it falls. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. And oh, this is inside. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first That's and third. Just missed. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Just missed. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Two on, one out. And that's in for a strike. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked that hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. One out, base is loaded. Next to hit, Jose Caballero. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ramirez, the runner at third. Paredes over at second. Rosario over at first, so one away. The That's shortstop bolded. takes the ball. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Next pitch is outside. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Ball four, and a run comes in to score. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. One down. Curtis Mead now at the plate. On the ground, could be two. Fires to second for That's one. Out. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We head to the second here at Tropicana Field. It's the Rays two and the Angels nothing.
top of the second. Yeah, and now it's the Angels cleanup bat. Miguel Sano. Miguel. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The wind of the pitch. That one ripped. And it's into the gap. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And here is Nolan Shonowell. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here at the top of the second. In the air, out towards right center. Rosario pulls that one down. Runner tags at second, applies the tag, yeah, and they get two. Double play. Man, you have to be sure if you're tagging from second base to jerk ever move up to third with no problem. And I know he wasn't out by very much, and it took a great throw to get him, but you're already in scoring position, so it's just a foolish decision to try and push it there. Brandon Drury to the plate. Gets down for a hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Wastes no time there. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Matt Face comes up to hit here. pitch and a foul ball Three. swing and a miss struck him out angels strand one they trail things here to nothing here at Tropicana Lee, Field Ray, Ray. and now the center fielder the center Jose center. Siri oh, and a pitch right through there for a strike saying he wasn't very sharp in the first got hit around a little bit just wasn't able to locate particularly well a lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate yeah Boog he wasn't fooling anyone it's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious hey. when adjustments need to be made sometimes it's location sometimes it's okay, being too now. predictable Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boog, he's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players questioning the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. Hanks and misses. It's a strikeout. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. One down, base is empty. In the air out to center. Trout settles under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Now bat the, the designated hitter. Yandy. Yandy Diaz now. Diaz. One for one with a double and a run score. Yeah. 
There's a strike at the knees. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Close one, doesn't get the call. And now it's even one and one. Swings through that. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. One ball, two strikes. Two outs, bases empty. Whoa. And another ball. Out towards left center. Ward sizing it up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. After two, it's a two-nothing ball game. And we're back. Leading and all stepping in is the, the speedy Joe seven. Adele. Joe Adele. Eflin, the tall righty, 30 years old now, a former first-round pick back in 2012. Ground ball right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And the batter will be the shortstop, Zach Neto. Right yeah. through there for a strike. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. He'll want. Fought off foul. Adele gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Two. Oh, Just impact. misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Oh, Just two. missed. He's really tightened up his hitting two zone strikes. with two strikes here. I love it. The Angels trailing by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one hammered. That's back. Gone! His first homer of the year, it's 2-2. Chris, we knew this moment was coming for him soon. Yep, and it finally came. We knew it was only a matter of time before he's going to connect with one just like that. Just too good of a hitter at the plate. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Tied up here in the early going. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. The 
and chew now. Swings and misses, struck him out. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. One down, base is empty. Trout is one of the best players of his generation. He's a fan favorite because he brings a rare combination of speed, power, and all-around talent to the team. He's exactly the type of player you want to build around. Up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. He's safe. He was all over that one. And now, let's see if they force hey, hey, some action with good wheels on the bases. First with one gone, and now it's going to be Taylor Ward. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Part of the order coming one. through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Eflin to move to first. Trap back in standing. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Still only one out here in the inning. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Sano stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Eflin a move to first. And diving back is Trout. Ground ball up the middle. Caballero. On to first. And that is that. The two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the bottom of the third. And now the first baseman, Harold Ramirez. The pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The pitch. This to third. Sano. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Oh, story of their season so far. Things just not clicking into place. Fundamentals on all sides of the ball are lacking and it's tough to win games at this level if you're not playing clean baseball as a team. And here is Randy or Rosarena. strike the pitch and that is in for a strike and it's 0 and 2 with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of the double play right here Here comes the pitch. Oh. Way to lay off that pitch down. And here it comes. 
That one ran inside, almost got him. And now the lefty. And that one is inside. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Isak Paredes next to bat for Tampa. Kicks and fires. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Stays alive. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Foul off again, and it remains three and two. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. Isaac Paredes will hit next. And he's already singled in this game. First pitch misses. Kicks and deals. And it's one and one. And another ball. ball. First and second, no outs. Here in the last half of the third. And strike two. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Next pitch is outside. That's a really good take. Ahmed Rosario waits on deck. Ramirez at second. A Rosarena on at first with nobody out. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some oh real goodness. issues Double with control. Oh, Base is loaded. Nobody oh, out. Oh, Stepping yeah. in, Ahmed Rosario. Golden opportunity right here. Up and in, and that's ball one. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over anxious. That pitcher's up against the wall. Make him come to you. Down the middle for a strike. And it's one and one. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up something, but you got Up the middle. Dives, and he can't hang on. Score from third. Three two, they take the lead. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jose Caballero. Just missed. That's off the inside edge. And the count is 2-0. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Next pitch is downstairs. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. And the pitch. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. The 3-1. On the ground a second. Might be two. There's one. They get the out, but the run scores in the twin killer. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, Double play is kind of a rally killer.
Here's the second baseman, Curtis Mead. He's over one. And that's in for a strike. All one's the count. That nope, misses the zone, the and the count is one and one. The pitch. That's in there. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. And he deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two outs. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Next pitch is outside. Good eye right there. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Payoff pitch. In the air right field. Makes the grab on the run. And that's the inning. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. On to inning number four. It's the Rays four, and the Angels two. Back now in Tampa Bay, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Nolan Shonowell. The wind of the pitch. That one not close. And it's 1-0. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope right. that he can get through this inning, get the bats back one up there one. while they're hot. You know, these Angels, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their Two outs have come from strike. weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And there's a strike. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. And that squirts through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now got that. The second base. Brandon. Brandon Drury, the next to hit for the Angels. One for one with a single so far. And the oh, first pitch cool. misses for ball one. Runner at first with no outs here. Wouldn't chase that time. Two will count. Great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Yeah, the right hander deals. In for a strike, and it's two and one. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. It's in and out of his glove. But the throw to He's first out. gets him easily, and that's the first out. Now that Matt Thice, the next to hit for the Angels. And that one fouled off. One out and a runner at second. Next offering is downstairs.
On the ground to the left. Base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Here's Joe Adele. Singled and scored his first time. And a curve misses outside. And the 1 0. Swing and pop up in foul ground. He's under it. Hauls it in for the out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. And now the shortstop, Zach Neto. He's already homered here in this one. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. A little out front there as he swings through it. If he can get through this one, put up a zero. This will help in his outings to come. The next nope. pitch misses, and that is more wrong. The Halos down by a pair. Top half of inning number four. And a count one and two. And a pitch. Just oh, off the down. outside part of the plate. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. In the air, right side. Rosario in position. And that's the third out. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Rays four and the Angels two. Back here at Tropicana Field, bottom four, now up for Tampa Bay, Jose Siri. Sandoval back to work. Splits the plate, strike one. Well, these Rays doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. The numbers kind of speak for themselves with the four walks. They've He's done a there. great job of not trying to do too much and just staying disciplined. That's why you run hard 90 feet, take nothing for granted, especially when you've got great speed. I'll take the infield knock. At first, and stepping in for the Rays, Rene Pinto. Right through there for a strike. And a pitch. In for a strike. 0 and 2. Quickly into an 0 2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Breaking oh, ball inside. That. And the count is one and two. The pitch. Swings and misses. And there's one down. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right no, there. No, I don't no, think no, that's no, a no, strike no, if he no, takes no, it. No, Pretty no, textbook no, pitching. No, get ahead in the count. Get no, the guy no. in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. So the Rays batting order turns over. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. One for two. That nope. one drifts inside. At the belt and fires. 
Lays down the line. Could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Rounds third, headed for the plate. The relay throw. The tag. Ah. A lot of real estate to cover on that play defensively. A long throw to the cutoff, man. And then a lot of ground to make up as well on the relay. But an excellent job of execution and getting that out of the dish as he tried to make it home all the way from first base. Ramirez next to hit for the Rays. And a foul ball. Runner at second, two down. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Base hit out of the center field. Headed for the plate. He'll score. It's 5 2. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Randy or Rosarena, the next to hit. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Dice drifts towards it and makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 5-2. You're dialed into the show. And we're back. Now it's the DH, Anthony Rendon. Anthony the right-hander back to work. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh and one. And that one clips the corner. And he'll two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The O2. And One there's ball. a ball. Two strike. on the curveball struck him out. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, my, my. and I'd say in a very hittable yeah. location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Trout in the box here lets that one go for a ball. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. He got one away ball, with one, one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Strike. Swings hey. and misses. Two. And the count, one, one and two. two strike. The Rays leading by three, and we're at the top of the fifth. On the ground, and it's through for a hit. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. something about the pulling one down the line and hey, shooting it through the infield that's Ooh. just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. I Whoa, love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. The pitch. And that's inside, off the inside edge. Two and oh. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Riding to the plate. 
Swing and a miss. Man at first one away. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two away. Here's Miguel Sano. This to third. They get the force. That ends the frame. Angels leave one. They trail at 5 2. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning, now the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. The lefty fires. Right hey. through there for a strike. Action in the Angels bullpen. Matt Moore getting ready to go. Fulmer getting cranked up as well. That one yeah, way one inside. Break. you feel good as a hitter right there smash that will do the infield for the knock when it's hit that hard it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play here comes the skipper and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot Patrick Sandoval out of the game it's a three-run game and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute number 59 on the pitch here just trying to keep this one close here and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game And now the right fielder, Ahmed Rosario. Base hit now. Should be extra bases. Paredes. Round second on his way to third. Coming home. He scores, and they lead by four. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So digging in, Jose Caballero. That clips the corner. Just kind of muscled it out there, and you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Curtis Mead next to hit for the Rays. Right through there for a strike. Started to swing, okay. held up. Throw over to first. Oh, it's low safe. and gets away.
Right hander kicks deals. And there's a foul ball. Nobody out. Runner at first. Come on and miss. Struck him out. And one gone. Well, I've always said it's tough. A elevated fastball you now see so out. well, hard to lay off of. Well, when you're talking about 100 miles per hour, chances of catching up are next to none. So you see that one just blown right by him. I think you're going to have to start a lot earlier if you're going to catch up to that speed. Siri stands in now and watches strike one. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Here comes the 1 Run around the goal. Up the middle. Tosses the first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Pinto. Renee Pinto next to hit for the Rays. Right down the chute, and it's all one. one. Offering is not close. The Rays up big in this one. Last half of inning number five. On the ground to short. Whips it across. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. We're through five. It's the Rays eight and the Angels two. New inning getting started. So in now for the Angels, Nolan Shanuel. And the right hater back to work. Clearly ball down one. in this ball game, and you can't look at the yep, deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Strike hey. one. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Three. Left hand hitter waits. Two balls, two strikes. Just Out misses ball. the mark outside the zone. Three. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Standing in is now the power out. hitting second baseman, second baseman. Brandon, Drury. Brandon Drury. Fast ball for a strike. Go on one. one. And 
And a strike in there. And ball one. One ball, two strikes. The Angels with a lot of ground to make up. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Way out in front of that inside pitch there. And just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two-strike approach. Dice in the box again. Takes a strike. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. Next yep. offering is down low. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. And the righty deals. Way outside. And that's ball two. And another ball. Outside, and that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Fly ball to right. Rosario brings it in for the third out. No runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left. 2-3-4 due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rays eight and the Angels two. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now up for Tampa Bay, Harold Ramirez. Harold Ramirez. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Ramirez measures 5 feet 10 inches, 29 years old, and he's a native of Colombia. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. The pitch. Fly ball down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Down the way. Left fielder. Randy. Randy. Here's the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. On the ground, right side. Drury gets it to first. They get the out on a Rosarena. The bat, the, the third baseman. baseman. Two outs, base is empty. Next to bat will be the Rays four hitter, Isaac Paredes. The triple digits. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Right-handed reliever. One ball, two strikes. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. 
Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing across here this half. We're through six full. It's the Rays eight and the Angels two. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Garrett Clevenger. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental Leading toughness on matters on in situations like this as well. And the batter will be the shortstop. Zach Neto. He's already homered in this game. The why to kick the pitch. Sliced hard but foul. Just oh, missed. And a foul ball. The wind and the pitch. That two misses. Balls. It's two, two and two. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Beats him for the first out, and that completes the strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the Angels' leadoff man, Anthony Rendon. And first offering is fouled off. The Rays up big in this one here in the top half of inning number seven. And one it's one. even up. That's a strike. And here it comes. Line drive. And that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. The center field. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Here's Mike Trout. And first offering is fouled off. Rendon over at first with one away. The old one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And that's downstairs and outside. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. That one misses. Three and one. Three First pitch one strike, strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Big stock center field. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. The well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And yeah, the batter now, Taylor Ward. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. Ball oh. one there. One out. Runners at first and second. And it's fouled away. I 
This is the zone, and he gets him to chase. One ball. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Pitch misses there. Two and two. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Still two and two after the foul ball. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. That's inside. Outside, and that is ball four. The bat, the third base. Base is loaded with one away. So now the Angel cleanup hitter, Miguel Sano, one for three. Six run lead doesn't feel all that big right now based on the situation. First pitch, not close. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. even up one and one base is loaded one away foul ball That's down and in. Next pitch is outside. That one misses, and that'll bring home a run. And here's the first baseman, Nolan Shanowell. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. And now the lefty. Pitch misses there. Ball one. and fires fights it off you'll see another one out base is full Hits and misses it's a strikeout well that's the money maker right there two strikes slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter I mean, it's just tough you're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off Brandon Drury the next to hit for the Angels wouldn't chase that time Base is loaded, two down. Just yep, missed. Out. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. New one. the middle me tosses the first they limit the damage here 
So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Rays eight, and the Angels three. Back here at Tropicana Field, set for the last half of the seven. Now it's the right fielder, Ahmed Rosario. And the pitch. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. Count one and oh. The one oh. And oh, another ball. Right through there for a strike. And he deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. Downstairs. The pitch. Gets to it with a slide. And they get the out. The batter number seven. Shortstop. First day. Caballero. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Jose Caballero. That's a strike. It's 0 1. Base is empty, one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. Next offering is in for a strike. One down, base is empty. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Here comes a pinch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Here's the 0-2. On the ground to third. To first. Two up, two down. Up next to Tampa Bay. The second baseman, Curtis. Two Mead. outs, base is empty. Curtis Meade getting ready to hit. That Mead. one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. Two. One and the ball. pitch is outside. Right. Ball one. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. And
of the pitch. And that's in the dirt. Two strikes. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Bounced up the middle into the outfield base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Now got it. Center fielder. And now it's Jose Siri. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Me off of first with two away. Good eye in that spot. Two outs to third. The throw to second is offline, and that keeps the inning alive. Now, you know, two out errors are kind of like two out walks, and sometimes even worse. You know, you think you're out of the inning, but all of a sudden, you get another out to get, and the offense has a great opportunity. They're looking to take advantage of and make you pay for. Carson Fulmer comes on now. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And stepping in for the Rays, Rene Pinto. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another one run. First offering misses badly for ball one. Two on, two outs. Now this is in the air down the line. And an automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. A run comes in on the play. Well, everyone is thinking, Ed, would the runner have scored from first if the ball stayed in the park? We'll never know, but they do get a run across with a chance to do more damage in the inning. So the batting order turns over. Here's the Rays leadoff hitter, Yandy Diaz. Now fly ball to right center. Trout makes the grab, and that is that. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Rays nine and the Angels three. Back now in Tampa Bay, and now the catcher comes up to him, Matt Thice. Clevenger back to work. That one the other way, and it stays fair. The right fielder, number seven. So, man aboard, Adele. Joe Adele will hit next. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. And it's 0-1. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. The pitch. Ball that jumps up. Movement in the bullpen. Colin Poche up and throwing. And a pitch. Next One, offering two. misses down and away. The pitch. 
pop jump. Caballero makes the grab one away. The batter, the batter number nine, shortstop, Zach Neto. Zach Neto now at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. The Halos with a lot of ground to make up. And we're in the top of the eighth. <laughs> and a pitch. Got him swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. The bat at number six. Here's Anthony, Anthony Rendon up to the Anthony plate. Rendon. Ball one, no strike. In the dirt, blocked. But no advance. That's ball one. Dice off of first with two away. In the air, left side. A Rosarena grabs it on the run. Angel Strand one. Still way back. It's 9 3. And we're back. And Bottom of the eighth. Down the, the number red. two hitter, the Harold Ramirez. Harold Ramirez. And here it comes. Eight. That one finds the corner. Going one. And Off that's plate, outside. One. Kicks and deals. Wouldn't Two chase balls. that time. Two one now. Bounce to the right. Drury. Over to first. One up, one down. The bat. No left field. Randy. So up next, Randy or Rosarena. First pitch, and he just misses. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off. And the right hander deals. Popped up. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. The third base hit. Now up for Tampa Bay, Isaac Paredes. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty to the plate. Oh, and now two and one. Ball two. Three balls, one strike. Squirts away a little bit, and the runner stays where he is. The pitch. Edge hey. in the zone for a strike. And now it's three and two. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. 
Rosario. And now the right fielder, Ahmed Rosario. First pitch misses. And the righty deals. Two oh, balls, no strikes to count. Ball. In the dirt. Reno. No advance from the runner, but it's 3-0 and now. See if he gives him anything to hit yeah. here. And he walked that him. That pitch is in. Ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The no, game no, plan no, that no, he's no, sticking no. to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for right there. Digging no, in, yeah, Jose yeah. Caballero. Fought off foul. Two outs. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to first. And he went around according to Clyde Washington. Struck him out looking with the off-speed stuff. So the Rays strand a pair. But they lead it 9-3. We're back. It's the top of the night. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Chris Davinsky. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him. So he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. And now batting, Mike Trout. Year in that's and year that's out, that's out that's this guy an MVP candidate. Mike Trout. The pitch. That ah. clips the zone. 0 and 1. Javinsky goes six feet, three inches. He features a changeup, a four seamer, and he works in a slider. Strike. That Aye. one's in there. And that's strike two. No ball, two strikes. Yeah, and there's a the ball. ball. I don't think he was trying to miss by that ball, much in no two count. count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Right hander kicks deals. Fights that one away. Still one and two. This one in the air center field. That one gets down for a hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, the his left bat left stays left. in the zone Taylor. on plane for an extended Whoa. period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. The pitch. Chopper to second. Me. In plenty oh. of time to first. Now one gone in the ninth. Up next to the angel. The third base. Miguel Sano digs in now. Sano. Yeah, that's too high. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Colin Poche warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Right-handed reliever. 
Swing and a ball popped up. Sizes this one up. And there's two down. Now that the first reason. No Nolan. Angels down to their final out. Nolan Shanowell, the next to hit. There's a strike. On the ground to third. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Rays take this one in a blow. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. Nine three, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.